Two wannabe artists walk through Northbridge. A wall left intentionally blank by the city of Perth to lure them has the desired effect. They tag the wall, then walk past the security camera long enough for their faces to be recorded and handed to police by the council's surveillance centre. Blake, welcome to our city of Perth surveillance centre. This centre is so important, we're asked not to reveal its new location to keep it safe. It's the headquarters of Perth's Eyes on the Street. More than 300 cameras are watched from here. We work really closely with the police and we have police officers that are here with us and we collaborate on, and they, on a number of issues from graffiti to damage to antisocial behaviour. They work quietly but see plenty. From crime to accidents, like this one on the corner of Fitzgerald and James Streets in Northbridge, where a car hits a taxi at the lights. If you're a long way from a camera, you can still be seen by a high-definition lens like this one at Elizabeth Quay. In some locations, like in the middle of the Murray Street Mall, you can be captured by one, two, three, four, five different cameras in the one spot. We have a, a very robust strategy that we apply, which looks at um, what, you know, supporting that safety of residents and businesses and people that visit, and also monitoring that privacy line. 13 people work in the surveillance centre. Di Williams has been here since it opened in 91. I bet you've seen a few interesting things in your time. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> Blake Johnson, 7 News.